Oh, that sounds fun. Okay, let's do exactly that. Let's let's travel through these puppies. Listen, we had an incredible conversation uh, earlier with Angelique, so it's time to revitalize our 2022, no, 2024 fitness routines. I'm still stuck in the past. Welcome to the future. And this is going to be a dynamic lower body weight training workout. And of course, here to join us today, like we had in that conversation earlier, someone that's going to inspire us to move, make things so much easier. And at the same time, she's the founder of the Lean Girl Guide. We're talking about Angelique. Dalberman in the building. So Angie, we had a great conversation, but it's time to have some fun now and move. And I know you are full of fun ways to do exactly that. What have you got for us this morning? So, are you ready, Rob? I'm ready. Okay, good. <laughs> so we are going to be doing a lower body segment. We're going to call it the Lean Goal 5 in 5. 5 in 5. Because I want people to remember it. So okay. you can remember that it's 5 exercises and only 5 minutes are needed. Is that it? Like we were chatting about. Sweet. It's just about doing something. Okay. Right? I love so that. start with 5 minutes and if we can progress to 10 next time, that's great. But we're just going to start with 5. So this is the call to action for everybody out there. Mzanzi, you're watching right now. Get up off the couch. Get up. Do whatever you're doing. And uh, come and enjoy this session right now because it's time to move. Right, let's get straight into it. Right, let's grab our dumbbells. Okay. So we are going to be doing a weight training session today. Ooh. So focusing on strength and sculpting our bodies, which is where weight comes into it. You've got right? a weird sinister smile there. I don't know if I should trust <laughs> you or not, but let's have fun. I do fun. love a bit of pun. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we're going to start with a little step out squat. So I just want, to, want you to take a good step to the left. And then we're going to get into it, getting that booty nice and low. And of course, if you don't have weights, people at home can do this without weights um, as well. It could be quite challenging depending on your fitness level. And then as you get stronger, you are just going to add in some more weight to the mix. So that's nice. the key with building strength, right, is to progress over time. Nice, I love that. Okay. Start you comfortable so, and really end your goals up. All right. How many, how many reps of these are we doing exactly? All right, so five and five. So yeah. when you're working out at home, I want you to do a minute of each. Oh, okay. okay, a minute of each. So we'd have just done a minute of the side step squatting and then we move over to the next exercise. We move on to the next okay, one. Okay, so number you. two is going to be an easy back lunge. So stepping it back, tapping the knee all the way down and then we're going to alternate it onto the other side. And the key here is really to get that knee nice and low. And then also drive up through the heel. And guys, it's the basics that are beautiful. Yeah. So you can never get tired of doing things like squats and lunges, because you can just improve and increase the weight and you'll be building strength. And, and your heart rate should get up a little bit as oh, well. Oh, I was just gonna say the heart rate's already <laughs> getting up and we the just getting started. And also I love the cue of driving through your heel. It really stimulates that glute so much more. I'm feeling the burn You're now. You're feeling the burn? That's, that's made the difference. Okay, Ryle's like, it. is the minute over? Is the minute over, guys? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's just pretend right. that the next minute, the second minute's over. Now yeah, we move well. over to the third exercise, right? Third okay. exercise, we're gonna do a deadlift. So Ooh. again, this is a good basic. And some cues here. So I'm actually gonna turn to the side. So you want to move your butt backwards, almost like you're closing a door, and then you're gonna drive all the way up again. Oh, so you've got that hinge at the so hip. So really nice hinge at the hip. Yeah. All the way down to sort of the middle of the shin, and then I want you to pull those hamstrings and booty up, really feeling it in the bottom. So nice and controlled here. Back on my legs right now, feeling quite a big stretch the lower I go down, is the that right? stretch is the key in this movement. So this is not about explosive power, that's really about feeling that stretch, engaging your core with all of these moves as well. Keeping the weights nice and close to the body. Let's go for one more. Oh, I love this. And again, for me, with some tight hammies at the moment, this is like getting the rust off right Beautiful. now. Beautiful. We go one more, we yeah, go one more. Out. Let's go. Mm, and I can almost get deeper and deeper as I progress through that as well. Exactly. So that's as you stretch, in that. As you stretch more and more. Nice. All right. Move number four. Let's get down onto our mats. All right. We're going to do a little glute bridge. Ooh. So this again, you could do this with weights or without. We are going to pop our weights up onto our hips. And this is a fantastic one, especially for the ladies and the booties. So we're just going to pop it right up. Nice big squeeze up at the top. Hold it there for a second. So you really feel that squeeze. And our glutes are actually quite strong. So you can actually add quite a bit of load onto this. I'm just more and upset by the fact that you mentioned that this is just for the ladies. What it's not the for fellas? the ladies. Well, the, the ladies also <laughs> love a man with a good booty, so. <laughs> well, the gents want to get the booties popping. They also the want the booty. Let's go for one more. <laughs> squeeze at the top. Ooh. Nice, how's your booty feeling? Oh, that's a proper burn, really feeling good. Forward. And All we've right. already done four exercises, one more left, right? One more so left. So this is a five in five. The Absolutely five in five. This would be the fifth minute 
fifth exercise. Fifth minute. So yep. I want you to get your weights up nice and high. I want you to give me a squat again. And you know what? No one should skip calf day. So oh, we're no, going to do a little calf Woo. raise. Okay. To get those Feeling calves <laughs> in the mix here. Woo. A nice burn. Lifting up onto your tippy toes like you're kind of wearing a pair of high heels. And we're going to go for five more. And then every single part of our beautiful lower bodies should be sculpted. Yeah, so this is that <laughs> moment where Raul goes silent because he's in pain. But the film was absolutely amazing. Angie, thank you so amazing. much. A double Great high job. five. Double and high five. it doesn't stop there. We've got another <laughs> round coming at you. Officially, we can tick the box on our lower body being sorted. This is a great summer workout that you can replicate and keep going on and on and on. Yes. And of course, if you haven't found online already, do so right now because there's so much inspiration, but the inspiration will continue because we've got another workout coming at you in just a bit. Yes, we're talking about round two. Right, so five and five. One more round. Let's do it. Let's, okay. go. Let's, let's go. go. Let's All go. Right. Let's go. It's my feel good birthday show. That's definitely true, and a lot of us are wanting to get our shed on, especially this time of the year. New year, new you, new me gettings, you know the vibe. And earlier on the show, we obviously met the founder of Lean Girl Guide. I'm talking about Angelique Doberman in the building, and she took us through a lower body workout. But now it's time to focus on another box that we need to tick, and that's our upper body. And you ready for this one? I'm ready. Cool, what you got for us? Five upper body exercises again, one minute each. If people want to follow along at home, we'll do this workout again. Nice. And we're going to start with one of my favorites that can be done anywhere, anytime, any place, no equipment. And that's going to be a good old, a good old push up. Oh, it doesn't so, get better than that. We're going to get it I done, it. but Raul, I actually want to show you a new kind. Okay. 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 So this is actually a negative push up. Uh -huh. And so we're going to start in the plank position. And then I want to see how slow. You can go. Oh, okay. So all the way until you can't hold it anymore. And then, and then you're going to drop it down. And then we're going to, well, you can even go up on your knees if you're Jeez. feeling weak. So this is proper work because this <laughs> is how you build go. muscle. We're talking about eccentric loading here, right? Eccentric loading, exactly. This is a lot harder, so like really, you said. You've... Really strong in that plank and lower all the way down. And if you're feeling like you aren't that strong, you can also just push up like that onto your knees, back up into your plank. And control and the descent. The whole way down, we want to do it really nice and slow. Whew. And that's a great way to actually build up to a full push up if that's something that you're struggling with. Yeah. You're doing a great job there. I know that you're into, you. your, <laughs> into your calisthenics. But, but that is a, it's such a great a tool, the tempo of our movements really makes a difference in terms of what we get out of that result. Slow, right? controlled, we're not using momentum. So now we're going to grab our weights again. Okay. So we're going to go into our first dumbbell exercise. Uh -huh. And if you don't have dumbbells at home, you could also use something heavy like cans or water bottles. So we're going to go in for a shoulder press, okay. which I think you might know this one. So yeah. you're going to hold it up and we're going to give it a nice reach up to the top, holding in that core, pushing it up and after a few reps, you should already feel the burn. I mean, these these weights must be around 15 kilos, right? right <laughs> but look, like, like you said earlier, we are just me, strong. it's not about the weight really when you're doing work like this. It's again about the quality of the movement. And it's something you're ensuring a lot of. Especially when I watch you online, I see you having a discussion. You've got a full-on community guiding you through these movements, which I think makes the biggest difference in all of this. What would you also denote to being something that can really make a success out of this thing? Obviously, we've got the movement box ticks right now. Yes. We can just follow you for some tips on that. But what what else do we need to make sure we include in this? So I think it really comes down to mindset. Yeah. I think most people, even if they know what to do, it's like, why am I not doing it? Even if I know what healthy choices to make, I know I should be training, why am I not doing it? So I actually have a podcast as well called okay. The Lean Girl Fit Cast, and that deals with specifically mindset and motivation when it comes to nutrition, fitness, and building a great Which body. Which I think we all need. And it, we I all think need take, to get our heads right, right. Yeah, take that, couple it with the community that you've built. I think you've got a great sort of uh, force behind you to get these goals smashed. So. Listen, yes. it's not going to get distracted yet. Yes. We're still going to work I know, we like, we like that rest, that rest time. So we're yeah. going to go for biceps, okay. which we can't forget about. So mm. a nice, easy bicep curl. Again, really contracting those muscles. Even if you don't have weights at home, just think about pulling your arms up and really contracting that bicep on the way air up and on the way down. So a lot of people will just drop the weight down, but half the movement is actually oh, okay. resisting 
on the way down. So you're getting twice as you're much. You're getting twice as much muscle for half growth the amount here. Of time. I love that. Yeah, I think also the fact that you don't necessarily need to just have dumbbells. Maybe you put some books or a water bottle in your hand. Any Anything can that's do, heavy, right? yeah. we can do it. Maybe All even right. a heavy bag. All right. Yes. Pumped. Okay. So now we're going to do a little bit more shoulders. Okay. So I want you to take it out to the side. So this is a lateral raise. Yeah. This is quite a challenging one, and you're going to start feeling those shoulders burn. Shoulders is actually one of my favorite exercises to work, especially for females. Like I love a beautiful, strong shoulder. <laughs> I don't, I, I'm like all about the ladies, but I know the men like the shoulders too. <laughs> no, for and sure. And again, when we are lifting up the weight, we want control it down all the way to the sides to ensure that we are using that eccentric movement as well and so you're gonna go for a full one minute on that and Beautiful. then last but not least we can't forget about our triceps which is the that little tri chicken wing piece that yeah. everyone is like I need to get yeah. rid of that doesn't everybody come here like how do I get rid of this and then that's the, exactly the, the request and yeah. if that is your request this is the move that's nice. going to help you, okay, what do you got so we're us? gonna bend over to the side and we're gonna do a beautiful little extension on the tricep kicking it all the way back so this is a nice tricep kickback and again a nice pause at the top so you feel that squeeze and you should feel that in the beautiful tricep there and this is a great way to tone and build muscle on those little chicken wings on those underarms to give you that nice toned strong look yeah i can feel the blood you can feel pumping it pumping in that area it's already filling up pumped. Yeah. Do you look strong? Absolutely, <laughs> Magic Edge. Thank you so there much. You this go. was another Thank incredible you so session. Much. Upper ticking, body done. Yeah, ticking the boxes on great conversation, on motivation, on lower body, upper body. It's like we've done everything except we need to eat, right? I'm, I'm a little hungry. Oh, we are a little hungry. hungry. Well, look, don't worry because we've got you covered <laughs> even with that. And Angie's got a beautiful recipe that we're going to dive into the kitchen just to get the nutrition and get you fueled to smash all your goals. We'll see you after that. All right, let's do one more round. I love that. Yeah, yeah let's okay. go. What are we doing? Anything.